Okay, this is the new 17 inch Omen, the 3070 Intel. Um, there's some questions online about things and one of the deals is the MUX switch, how to enable it, um, which is easy to even do in Windows. So you can go to the little key right up here. I'll bring up your Omen um, hub, the Omen gaming hub. And then you go down to your Omen 17 and on this you will have the option well it's going to show my temperatures here in a second this is just at idle which is pre pretty decent um, but you have a chance to undervolt that work boost lighting to change that around performance control and graphic switcher graphic switcher is your MUX you can change it to discrete right here and then whenever you do that it'll ask to restart uh, another thing is the undervolting. Uh, that's something that uh, maybe not a whole lot of people understand or know about. But whenever you're gaming and you do your boost, the voltage goes up, voltage goes up, so does your heat. So when that happens, your frame rates go down. When your heat goes up, it's got to cool off. So far, I've, I've done some gaming on it, um, and it's a learning curve. Like for the desktop, it goes down pretty bad because um, it's getting hot. I got a little fan running on my desktop, but with the laptop so far, I've only done about 45 minutes of gaming. Um, I had this on, Intelligent, and just the regular fan system, which I mean, you, you've got a few things that you can change around on here. But the other way to do your MUX switch, instead of just here, I'm like, I go, you know, say hybrid, and then I'll restart it. And whenever it's restarting, what you want to do is hit your F10 right down here. Once that shuts off, and F10, you do F10 again to your BIOS. So you BIOS setup option. A lot of computers will be escape, it will be something else, um, F1, F2, delete heat. Your Omen 17 with a 3070 Intel is F10. Now you can use your arrow keys and go down to configuration right here. And then you can use your mouse and switch your graphics right here over to discrete that will have it on the good way all the time your good graphics and then you go over here select exit and save changes and exit yes um, that, that's the two ways to change over to what they call the MUX switch you're always using your high-end graphics. So it's not gonna switch between your Intel onboard graphics and then to your high-end. Um, people say they get better frame rates. But so far, I mean, the color, everything on this has been good to me. Um, so yeah, I'll try to do some gaming videos. I'm still trying to learn with this system. Uh, it doesn't get as hot as my others, so if there's any others, which I, I will do some gaming ones, I do a lot of Diablo 3, and I'll do the frame rates on it, and try try to get the heat. Uh, if there's any certain games, just let me know if I already have. Um, more questions, just hit me up, let me know. And enjoy it if you have one of these. If not, I mean, it's, it's something to think about getting. I mean, if you're looking at a laptop with 3070, this one's easy to get to the back panel. There's no, um, you remove this, you void warranty stuff. Uh, it's eight screws and you pop it off. So, and it's, you get to the RAM, nothing soldered in. You can see your fans, you can clean things off. You can get to both hard drives. And it's just, it's set up to be a fast system. And hopefully that helps you all out and be nice, everybody, and take care.